Squirrels are members of the family Sciuridae, a family that includes small or medium-sized rodents. The squirrel family includes tree squirrels, ground squirrels, and flying squirrels. Squirrels are indigenous to the Americas, Eurasia, and Africa. A group of squirrels is called a dray or a scurry. Squirrels are generally small animals, ranging in size from 10 to 14 centimeters in total length and just 12 to 26 g in weight. Squirrels typically have slender bodies, with very long very bushy tails and large eyes. In general, their fur is soft and silky, though much thicker, in some species than others. The coat color of squirrels is highly variable within species. In most squirrel species, the hind limbs are longer than the forelimbs, while all species have either four or five toes on each foot. The feet, which include an often poorly developed thumb, have soft pads on the undersides, and versatile, sturdy claws for grasping and climbing. Tree squirrels, unlike most mammals, can descend a tree head first. Squirrels live in almost every habitat, from tropical rainforest to semi-arid desert, avoiding only the high polar regions and the driest of deserts. They are predominantly herbivorous, subsisting on seeds and nuts, but many will eat insects and even small vertebrates. As their large eyes indicate, squirrels have an excellent sense of vision, which is especially important for the tree-dwelling species. They have a good sense of touch, with vibrissae on their limbs, as well as their heads. Many juvenile squirrels die in the first year of life. Adult squirrels can have a lifespan of 5 to 10 years in the wild. Some can survive 10 to 20 years in captivity. Premature death may occur when a nest falls from the tree. Many such baby squirrels have been rescued and fostered by a professional wildlife rehabilitator until they could be safely returned to the wild. Diversity and Adaptations Squirrels belong to the family Sciuridae, encompassing a wide range of species, each with its own unique characteristics and adaptations. Tree squirrels are adept climbers, utilizing their sharp claws and strong hind limbs to traverse tree trunks and branches with astonishing ease. Ground squirrels, on the other hand, have adapted to terrestrial life, constructing elaborate burrows for shelter and protection. Flying squirrels, despite not truly flying, have a special membrane between their forelimbs and hind limbs that allows them to glide between trees. Behaviors and Characteristics Squirrels are renowned for their intelligence and resourcefulness. One of their most iconic behaviors is the gathering and storing of nuts and seeds during the autumn months. This behavior, known as caching, helps them prepare for harsher times when food may be scarce. Their communication involves a range of sounds and tail movements that convey information about potential threats, territory boundaries, and mating readiness. Squirrels mate either once or twice a year, and following a gestation period of three to six weeks, give birth to a number of offspring that varies by species. The young are altricial, being born naked, toothless, and blind. In general, the ground-dwelling squirrel species are social, often living in well-developed colonies, while the tree-dwelling species are more solitary. During hot periods, squirrels have been documented to sploot or lay their stomachs down on cool surfaces. Squirrels, like other rodents, employ species-specific strategies to store food, buffering against periods of scarcity. In temperate regions, squirrels commonly cache nuts beneath leaf litter, inside hollow trees, or underground. Ecological importance Squirrels play a vital role in ecosystems. Their foraging habits contribute to seed dispersal, aiding in the growth of plants and trees in different areas. Some nuts and seeds that squirrels cache and then forget, or don't retrieve ultimately germinate, contributing to forest regeneration. This makes them an essential link in maintaining biodiversity and supporting the health of ecosystems. Human interaction Squirrels' interactions with humans can be both endearing and challenging. Many people enjoy observing and feeding squirrels in their backyard or local parks. 
However, their persistent efforts to raid bird feeders or access attics can sometimes lead to conflicts. Nevertheless, their presence serves as a reminder of the intricate connections between urban and natural environments. Conservation considerations. While many squirrel populations thrive, some species face conservation concerns due to habitat loss, climate change, and competition with introduced species. It's essential to recognize the importance of preserving the habitats that squirrels and countless other species depend on for survival. In conclusion, squirrels are more than just cute and furry critters, they are a fascinating window into the natural world's intricacies. Their diverse adaptations, behaviors, and ecological roles make them worthy subjects of study and admiration. Feeding Squirrels cannot digest cellulose, they must rely on foods rich in protein, carbohydrates, and fats. In temperate regions, early spring is the hardest time of year for squirrels, because the nuts they buried are beginning to sprout, while many of the usual food sources are not yet available. During these times, squirrels rely heavily on tree buds. Squirrels, being primarily herbivores, eat a wide variety of plants, as well as nuts, seeds, conifer cones, fruits, fungi, and green vegetation. Some squirrels also consume meat, especially when faced with hunger. They have been known to eat small birds, young snakes, and smaller rodents, as well as bird eggs and insects. Some tropical squirrel species have shifted almost entirely to a diet of insects. Squirrel attacks on humans are exceedingly rare, but do occur. Society Squirrels have been kept as pets in Western society at least until the 19th century. Because of their small size and tame nature, they were especially popular with women and the clergy. Squirrels are a cause for concern because they often cause electrical disruptions. It has been hypothesized that the threat to the internet, infrastructure, and services posed by squirrels. Ground squirrel. Ground squirrel, any of 62 species of long-bodied terrestrial rodents that are active during the day and have short legs, strong claws, small rounded ears, and a short or moderately long tail. Color varies widely among species, from gray, tawny, or pale brown to olive, reddish, or very dark brown. A few species are solid-colored, but most exhibit characteristic patterns, such as dappling, lines of spots, white to brownish-black stripes, bright reddish-brown cheeks or stripes combined, with a yellowish-red mantle over the head and shoulders. Underparts are white, shades of gray, tones of buff, or brown. Non-tropical ground squirrels. The name ground squirrel is typically applied to small rodents that excavate burrows and are associated with open habitats at temperate latitude. The 38 species of North American ground squirrels and Eurasian southlicks are found from sea level to mountaintops, in open habitats and occasionally in forests. The white-tailed antelope squirrel of the southwestern United States is one of the smallest of all ground squirrels, weighing 96 to 117 grams and having a body up to 17 centimeters long and a tail of less than 8 centimeters. Most non-tropical ground squirrels are omnivorous. Tropical ground squirrels. Tropical ground squirrels are active all year and do not store food. Although they sometimes utilize holes in the ground, these rodents usually nest in hollow tree trunks and rotting branches on the forest floor. Diet varies among species, but generally includes a greater percentage of arthropods than that of non-tropical ground squirrels. We made extra efforts to produce such kind of informative videos. If you feel that this video gives you some kind of valuable information, then like and subscribe this channel. Share this video with your family and friends. Hit the bell icon so that you will not miss any such kind of informative videos.